Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going to come from first, our second Peter, excuse me, second Peter chapter two, verses one through three. And I'm just going to read them to us. And I'm going to come back and talk about these and why they're kind of on my heart. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom they the way of truth shall be shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now for, of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not so here uh, the peter is warning us about the about the false prophets that are going to sneak into the church for lack of better terms i shouldn't say sneak in they're going to come into the church and uh, and what they're going to do they're going to be damnable heresies even to the point they start denying essential and I, that's the best way I can come up with essential uh, essential and, and doctrinal positions like things that are absolutely 100% biblically true they're going to begin to sway those to meet their own agendas or meet their own ideas or whatever the case may be instead of actually sticking with the truth of the scripture and what the scripture has to say but then even beyond that it says there that many are going to follow out their pernation ways or evil ways or destructive ways by reason whom they with the truth shall be evil spoken of why because basically when people start to bring out the truth to them they're going to speak evil of what the people not the truth necessarily the people so as people start to point out truth to them then the people start attacking the the, the ones who are speaking the truth right but also they may attack the truth too and it says and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you in other words here's the point they're going to make you covet them covet the relationship with them covet something they have or covet them whatever the case may be and you know maybe for uh, for gain or something like this but then they're going to make merchandise of you they're actually going to take advantage of you and that's literally what it's saying so and it says whose judgment now for a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not but the point of the matter is and why i shared this this morning with us is this is as time goes on we see more and more um and i want to be careful i say this but more and more so-called Christians and Christian ministries that are beginning to move away from the truth and move into the worldviews, accommodating the worldviews instead of sticking with a biblical worldview. And they're doing this in such a way that many people are starting to go, oh, that makes sense. I'm going to follow after that. But then when they're confronted with the truth, they destroy the truth tellers instead of instead of actually what submitting to repenting from and submitting to the lord and coming back to the truth so i hope this encourages you today just to remember to look at those things pay attention to who you're listening to and what does it bring about in your life because the thing about it is, is one of the one of the things i like to say when we listen to people even myself included guys but when you're listening to people what does their teaching what does their ministry what does their 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 stuff bring about in your life does it bring about the spirit the spirit does it bring about the fruits of the spirit love joy peace long suffering gentleness meekness goodness temperance does it bring about these things or what does it bring about in your life does it bring about anger does it bring about malice does it bring about bitterness does it bring about you know discontentment does it bring about all these things you know like I, I, you know I, these uh just I, I, you know unsure ways or uneasiness or whatever the case may be if it's adding fear to you not the fear of the lord but fear to you is it really of god and i would go so far as say absolutely not and even if it's our own heart or our own mind that is doing that to us we need to stop listening to that because that is not the spirit of god so I hope this is crazy today. I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.